Right, this is the actual instrument that has been used in the uh, Detroit horn section to do with the sound of Young America and my colleague is going to explain how it actually works. Right, so this is the main body of the saxophone and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So first of all you have to take out like, the plug and you attach in the, the rook. So all you do is you put it in here, twist it in. Right, okay. Sometimes you need to use wax to it if it won't go in, it's a bit hard. Then yes. You have to tighten it in. Right. Both sides. Yes. So you have like that. And then you have your mouthpiece. Right, which okay. It looks like that and mm -hmm. has the metal. You would have to, you get given a reed, you have to buy reeds. Right, yes. So, then you have to attach it in. Mm hmm Attach it in like that. Right. And then, grab the metal. Hmm. So basically, in the process of the person in the horn section to get them ready to actually play with the other members of the horn section, they have to go through this preparation, I presume. Yes. yes? Okay, fantastic, good. So then, as soon as you put the reed in, and then you have to have to tighten it as well so it doesn't come out of place. Right, okay, so as soon brilliant. as it's properly secure, yes. you obviously, there's a hole in the end, you attach it in to mm -hmm. the rook. Right. Twist it in mm -hmm. until it's certain then. So mm. mine goes that far into it. Yes. And obviously, mine's twisted now. But then, that's your saxophone set up, and then obviously the tuning mm -hmm. that I play. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic, great. And so here are ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the instruments is actually used in the horn section to do with the sound of Young America, which actually will be working with the Funk Brothers and also Detroit Symphony Orchestra, according to Gordon Staple. <laughs>